Hello, everybody, for the final episode of this preview of Slop Supreme League. I know I received the package with the Spanish language software in because I remember thinking it was odd that the mailroom boy hadn't stamped on it. I just can't remember where I put it. Huh. Supreme League of Mel's Ramblings. Yeah, that's it. So he's looking for his software. This is Jamie, my workstay. This from uh, same audio. We'll go back outside. Maybe there's some more stuff we haven't explored back there. This notice board contains an assortment of notices and reports on a wide range of NYPD related subjects. There's everything from a softball team roster through to a 30 year old EFIT. Did I make the softball team this year, Mel? No, mate, sorry. <laughs> oh, man, I really thought I was going to make it this year. Why do you think they left me out? I don't think it was about ability, mate, so much as strategy. This year, they're aiming mostly for guys who hit the ball without letting go of the bat. Oh. Dangerous indeed. This desk belongs to Sam. Now I come to think of it, it's a bit odd that Sam's desk is out here with the others. Don't lieutenants usually have their own offices? Yeah, but Sam refused to take one. She told the captain that she didn't want to distance herself from her detectives. She didn't want them to think she was unapproachable, or that she was management after she got her promotion. That sounds like Sam. I've always said she's a loyal colleague. Also, it's much easier to throw things at people from out here. Oh, oh. This desk. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Also. I guess it's a one-click activation. This year they picked 12 officers from the five boroughs to model for the calendar. All proceeds go to the NYPD Widows and Orphans charity. Hmm. This is still set to March, but it's April now. Why hasn't someone turned the page over? Sam felt that the April photo was inappropriate for a public place. Uh-oh. Inappropriate? What do you mean? Let me put it this way. The officer featured for April... Well, it's not his baton he's holding. Um... Okay. Team 84. Is that a reference to Big Brother? Big Brother is watching you. Give us a hint, buddy. Mel, do you have a minute? What's up, mate? Are you after a dicky in my show, like? God, no! I just wanted to talk to you. Oh, well, that's different. Talk away. <laughs> Hell. Give us a hint, buddy. I need help. I can't find the Spanish language module for your translation software. Well, it must be in my office somewhere, mate. I always put software somewhere I won't forget it. Only you do. Where did you put this software? I forget. <laughs> okay, so it's... Thanks, Mel. That's all the help I need. I'm in the if wrong room. If you say so. Talk to you later. Use. Uh, what do we got here? I would assume it would be on his computer. I'm gonna hit all hey, the options. Jamie where she is. Why do you call her Jamie? She's a cybernetic woman. Oh. Like Cher? Huh. This is Jamie, my workstation. 
You. This. We just use her again. Mel, do you mind if I use your computer? Do you remember the last time I let you use my workstation? When I got back on it, I had replacement cursors, toolbars for everything from the Vienna riding school to the cast of Avenue Q, and a purple gorilla trying to make me laugh. <laughs> if I want a purple gorilla trying to make me laugh, I'll ask you to put the costume back on again. Oh, shit. Your computer looked so boring. If you want to use the computer, just be specific about what you want to process, and I'll do it for you. I don't suppose it would be buried in here again. That's strange. This... How can... I've... Okay, now let's just repeat dialogue. I don't have... Huh. That's strange. Can we... How can... It's the same I... thing. I... Really? There's... Would it be in there again? It's my entry. After the mailroom boy. I expect... I guess that's also possible. I guess it would. I mean, it's the only thing we haven't found yet. Dude, there's a packet here which feels like it might have a DVD in it. There we go. Has it been horribly mangled? No, it's perfect. Strange. The male boy must have missed it. Interesting. Oh yeah, that's, that must be it. This padded envelope was in the in tray on Mel's desk. I always feel a slight tingle of excitement holding a padded envelope, because you never know for sure what's inside. It wasn't very bloody exciting when the hospital sent your stool sample back return of post because you'd forgotten to put it in the plastic cup. Oh. The woman from UPS has never spoken to me since. Ha 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 ha. Talk to you later. Uh, did I mean to talk to him? This pa It won't. Can we, I guess we gotta use it on a computer? Can we open it? No. It's activating it again. Mild. You You're. We'll. If you wanna use. <sighs> Okay, so how do we open it now, or use it? It's my best friend. Well, you're not. How? You haven't. Okay, so do we gotta like look for scissors or something? This desk. No. Yeah. That's also it's so it's all the same dialogue. So we're kind of in an impasse. Huh. Okay, so to use computer. Now that would give me the all same dialogue. Can't click drag. Can't click on self. It's not popping up. No. I would assume you'd be able to just go use self or open or. It... The woman for me. Oh. Okay, so why don't we go up here? Hey, look! It's the Spanish language module for your transcription software. Great. Although I was secretly hoping it was Holly Does Hoboken. Huh. Okay, so apparently we go up here for our items, and I guess this is a quick bar. No, 
So now can we Mel, do you mind if I use your computer? Do you remember the last time? If you want to use Okay, so maybe we use it on him. Yeah. Hey Mel, can you install this for me? No. The level design is uninspired. The load times are horrendous. It's horribly misogynistic, and the humor is incredibly juvenile. I don't care if you have been waiting 15 years for it to be released. You should have waited forever. Oh. Well, can you install the Spanish language module instead? What? Sure. Okay, done. All right. I'm last for now. Okay, so then we use said item. Well, actually, I should probably see if I can use the camera now to get the disc. Do you think this is the SD, SD card Sam wanted us to find? If it isn't, this has been a pretty cruel red herring. The card is jammed in here pretty tight. I can't seem to pull it out. Push, don't pull. All right, all right. Jeez, you sound like Lucy. I always figured she'd be a bossy cow. You're not wrong, bud. She never let up. Let me take my hose off first. Are you sure it's supposed to be that color? What the hell are you doing back there? What? Aha! I got the card out. You were right. I was supposed to push instead of pull. I'll bet that's a great relief to Lucy. Um... For Lucy. Okay, so... Can we transcribe what we need to transcribe now? This SD card contains a video of an NYPD interview. I wonder if it can... It won't. Sorry, I didn't mean to They click. save all the hilarious ones with crystal meth addicts for movie night in the senior detective's office. Wow. Can we transcribe the second interview now? We can. I'll just queue it up and it'll be transcribed automatically by the software. Alright, second CD, finally. Cool. Of course, there is a manual tweaking option for fine tuning, but I doubt Sam will need anything that specific. <laughs> that manual tweaking option opens up a world of temptation. Yeah. What's the Spanish for please stop beating me with that rubber hose? <laughs> Finally the last one. This transcription software could have lots of other applications, don't you think? Like what? Subtitles for films and TV? Yeah, but think bigger. You could get it to transcribe football matches. And then you wouldn't have to pay commentators. No, see, it only transcribes what people say. Audio recognition. It can't describe what's happening in the video, you pillock. Even if it could recognize what was happening and somehow describe it, it would just be a dull, monotone voice describing everything in tedious detail. Well, so only slightly better than Jim Buck. Uh, fair point. Is it finished transcribing? No, but it doesn't need any more human intervention. When Sam comes back into the office, the results will be waiting for her. That's all three done now, right? Indeed. Our slave labor is over for the day. Slave labor. It's only an extra hour of work. Only an extra hour? That's more than we've done all month. <laughs> Location ad. So... Looks like we can go to Broadway, Broad, Broadway, finally, but unfortunately we're at the end of our preview here. This is the end of the final episode of Slop, the Supreme League of Patriots. Uh, I, I kind of like the humor, I really like it. Um, it's 
I don't play too many uh, point and click adventure games too often, so I got lost a little bit. But hopefully, you know, if you want to see what happens next to the theater, you would go. Let's make a move and get to the theater, mate. You'll be hell to live with if you miss those auditions. Yeah, not happening. Um, so hopefully, you know, check it out yourself. Give us a try, see what you think, and, uh, you know, see what, what happens next at the theater. Thank you all for tuning in for this one, and I'll see you guys uh, in our next set of adventures. Bye-bye.